In this video, we'll talk about You've Got This, How to Banish Worry and Live Panic-Free. You've done a great job moving into the final chapter. We are very happy for you. We've covered many different topics throughout this, from topics that help you understand your anxiety to ones that help overcome it and move to a place of acceptance and peace. Each chapter is filled with purposeful worksheets that are specially designed to take you through the process one step at a time, at a pace that is convenient for you. This chapter is slightly different. The tools in this chapter rally on all that we've already discussed, but more practically and directly. This time, it is intending to gift you a quick lift of sorts when you're feeling low and anxious. There isn't any explanation, because that's what the rest of the video is about. But there are some quick fixes and effective tips that can get you up and about when you're not quite your usual happy self. Simplify. If you've been practicing the worksheets presented in this video, you might have a better idea of how your anxiety plays out. You might also know the handful of issues that trouble you, the ones that still creep up on you when you least expect them to. Here are some quick but effective tips to keep them down and out of your way for longer periods. Anti-anxiety formulas. Breathe. When you're anxious, your mind can get caught up battling the thoughts ringing its head. You can become so consumed by the process of balancing your emotions that you fail to recognize the physical effects of it. There are some telltale signs which when addressed can instantly help bring down your anxiety. Your breathing is at the top of that list. Typically, when anxious, your breathing quickens and becomes shallow. This goes against the natural pattern of breathing which is slow and deep. And because our lives depend on our breath, any deviance in this pattern can add to your stress and make you more uncomfortable. You can quickly counter this by focusing on your breath. 1. Place one hand on your abdomen and the other on your chest. 2. Breathe in slowly, focusing on expanding your abdomen first and then your chest. 3. Exhale slowly, telling yourself to relax when you breathe out. 4. Repeat steps 1 through 3 for at least 10 breaths. Exercise. Your body is not meant to be stressed. It's meant to be happy, healthy, and at peace. And so, when you get upset, your body is alarmed and responds by producing stress hormones. Exercise has proved to be very effective in burning these hormones. Exercises such as running, jogging, brisk walking, and or aerobics for as little as 15 to 20 minutes at a time when you're stressed can do wonders to alleviate symptoms of anxiety. Choose any physical activity that you enjoy doing. The fact that you also like what you're doing will help shift you to a happier and stress-free phase. Express yourself, talk it out, or journal your thoughts. We are social creatures. We want to mingle and thrive as a collective society. And so, by this nature, it is natural for you to feel better when you connect with or talk to someone you understand and who understands you. Rally your support system. Call a loved one and talk about what's troubling you. Even if you're somebody who doesn't like to mingle a lot, you might find it helpful to just let things out of your system. If you don't have anyone you can immediately call and talk to, try and journal your thoughts. Do not hesitate to talk to yourself either. Try and understand exactly what's bothering you and the best way to do that is to ask yourself questions. What's bothering me? Does my narrative sound correct? Is there another way of looking at what happened? How can I shift to a better place? Always ask yourself questions because when you do, you may get vital information that can then stimulate your thinking further, perhaps from an all new reasonable and refreshing angle. Listen to music. Sound stimulates the mind and body. It can inspire you or upset you. When you're upset, try and listen to music that soothes your mind. Listen to whatever makes you happy. Spend time with pets. Studies prove that spending time with pets promotes better moods and health. Spend time with your pets, play with them too. You'll quickly realize your anxiety disappearing away. Give your mind something more productive to chew on. Often, when you're stressed, your mind refuses to think outside of the situation. It focuses on the discomfort and replays the events that led to it several times over. If the worry is serious and needs assistance, then we urge you to consult a therapist. But if it's more minor in intensity and caution, then we recommend distracting it with some of your favorite activities. Try reading a good novel, watching a movie, playing a sport, spending time with family, walking your pet, and anything else that makes you happy. Stay in the present. Remember that most of what has upset you has happened in the past. The moment has passed, and a lot of what you may worry about may be in the future. They happen yet and might never happen too. Instead of toggling between the past and future, stay in the present. Notice your breath because that's living in the present. Focus on your breath as mentioned before and bring yourself back to the present. Your anxiety, your journey. As you progress further, you'll gain a deeper understanding of the origins of your anxiety. You'll also discover ways to manage and overcome them. At this point, we urge you to take a moment to pause and reflect on everything you learned about yourself so far. It can get overwhelming and we want you to know that that's completely expected and normal. You decide, ready or not. You've made great progress and we are very happy that we can be a part of it. 
At the same time, we want you to also know that this journey is yours to take. Reflect and conclude on what's right for you and what's not. Don't rush into things. Instead, take time to regroup and recalibrate. If you wish, take time off to think about your journey till now. Practice everything that you've learned so far. You decide when and how you want to move things ahead. This video is filled with plenty of practical tools to help address your anxiety. Take time to truly work on it because when you do, you'll be rewarded with lifelong benefits. Finally, reflect on everything that's been shared with you through this video and figure out what works for you. Worksheet 24, Gathering Your Tools. Take a few moments to reflect on how the various systems in this chapter have worked for you. Make a note of the techniques that worked for you. Feel free to improvise and make them yours. This is the end of your journey together for now. Thank you for the effort you put into practicing and understanding the many concepts mentioned in this video. We hope you've learned of ways to manage your anxiety and in time, overcome it. At this point, we urge you to keep referring to your notes to keep working on the many practice exercises provided. As you progress further and sharpen your understanding, you'll develop skills that can help you arise above all anxious periods. Best wishes.